Hey there, this is Eric with Princeton Product Reviews. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to be reviewing the Hoover T-Series Wind Tunnel Pet Rewind Bagless Upright Vacuum. That took one whole breath to say that. <laughs> it is model UH70210, comes in the color blue. Uh, if you'd like to find out more information about this vacuum, make sure to click on the link below. You'll be taken to the Amazon product page where it's currently priced at $99. So to get this review started, we're going to go ahead and go with our unboxing. We're going to pull the vacuum out. We're going to build it. We're going to show you all of the accessories that it comes with, show you all the features of this vacuum so you know how to use it. Then we'll go into our performance test. We'll vacuum up various items, see how well that performs. Then we'll get to our punishment test, and at the end, we'll give you our final thoughts. So, let's get started. All right, so here we are with our unboxing. Make sure to bring a screwdriver Show with you. Show everybody the tool you were using, Eric. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I don't waste time here, but. Yeah. If you don't have a screwdriver, you can just use a butter knife, <laughs> but it didn't work, so. <laughs> use a screwdriver. Okay, so there is going to be a warning here on top that you are going to need to use a screwdriver to remove this. And if I could just get it out. There we go. All right, so there we go. And of course, you're going to need a screwdriver to remove the screw so you can put the handle in. Uh, nothing to it. So that's basically it for assembly, right? That's it for assembly. That's all you got to do. Everything, most vacuums these days, they already come pre-assembled. Nothing really you got to do. Obviously, if it's a big vacuum, the handle is not going to be attached because then it won't fit in the box. Uh, and then other than that, you just got your, you know, your, your canister and your little features here and tools that are going to come separately. So, all right, so let's go ahead and go into the features of the vacuum. It comes in at 17.8 pounds. Um, it's heavy. I mean, you know, you're, if you're gonna try and use this on the stairs, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but it does come with a cord, so you're, you're okay there. It comes with a 12 amp motor. It's a two year limited warranty. Now it does come with a reusable easy rinse dirt cup filter so to open it just push on the bottom here which is pretty much uh, standard these days uh, I don't think any of that removal yeah, that, that, that middle part has to come out right? I'm pretty sure it does well obviously up top here is it's always where your filter is going to be this is going to be a removal filter this is pretty this thing is thick too uh -huh. this is a good filter wow um, and yeah, all, of course, obviously, every time before you vacuum, you want to make sure that you do keep this clean. This item right here, when this gets full, it's going to kill the suction power in your vacuum. Uh, always make sure that you start vacuuming with an empty dirt cup and make sure that's clean. Hey, let's see if that, does that blue part come out? That, I think it might. Yeah, this is some sort of like additional filter. Um, part of the wind tunnel. I mean, that's what makes that wind tunnel. Exactly, yeah. This is a uh, wind tunnel technology. It try it, from the, try it from the top. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Open that up. Now. Mm, I know it take, does. Take the filter out and see what happens. Yeah, okay. There's something here. Yeah, well, you know, Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? So, so yeah. and this is how you properly clean it. So, periodically, you're going to make sure that you check this. A lot of hair, especially since this is a pet cleaning vacuum, all the hair is going to build up around this cylinder right here. Uh, and this is where the wind technology is. So, you want to make sure this is always clean and clear. That way, you're going to have full power when you use the vacuum. Uh, you can rinse this out, wipe it down, make sure it's dry as well. And that's how you're going to prolong the life of your vacuum. A lot of people complain, man, this vacuum sucks. It doesn't work anymore. Well, it's because you're not cleaning it. <laughs> you got to clean it. I know it's going to get dirty, um, but that's what you got to do. Now, of course... Yeah, that's what happens with my ears. I, sometimes I, yeah, they don't work and I just have to clean them. You got to clean them. You got to clean them in the shower. Use that soap and get it in there. Okay? Come on. <laughs> so... There you have it. You got the filter. You have a removable um, center here. You open. Very simple. So to remove the dirt cup, you're going to lift on the handle up top here and remove it. Very simple. Easy to pop back on. 
There you go. You just want to make sure that this is secure because that's where the debris is going to go into the canister. Now you have your rewindable cord right here, which is, gets my little cheat sheet right here. It's a 25 foot automatic rewind cord. So you pull out of the plug, obviously you can't curl it up, but there's a little button here on the side. You push that. And could be faster. It's kind of slow. Uh, I'll admit, other vacuums been better, but that's not too bad though. Hey, at least, at least you know what the cord's inside. Yeah. Don't you hit it when you gotta wrap the oh, cord? I hate, I hate, I hate wrapping. I hate wrapping the cord. I hate wrapping the cord. Everyone hates wrapping I the cord. I see another filter on the bottom there, Eric. Yes. So. H E P A. Right. Where is our HEPA filter? Here we go. So this comes with a HEPA filter with a odor absorbing carbon layer. Sounds uh -huh. fancy. Sounds fancy. So um, so oh, there we go. Just pull it out. This is a separate filter. It looks like this is all one unit. Uh, so don't try removing this. You're going to break it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be sold as a replaceable item as well. That's all one piece? This is all I one piece. That. That piece well, of pop must pop out. It may pop out, um, yeah, I don't but I don't want to damage it. All right. So it probably looks like after you pop it out, you're supposed to replace it too. Uh, to easily clean this, just hit it over a trash can, get all the loose debris out. But you want to check that periodically as well as this. Now this is going to come with a height adjustment right here for going from high to low. You're going to have five different height settings, which is pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 da. And also, it's, let's see here, on the bottom, if I can show you guys, this is going to be the brush roller as well. Now, this brush roller is designed to help bring debris in without pushing it to the side. The belt, the belt is protected. The belt is protected too. It's going to be a little hard to see that. Um, maybe I can remove this and show you guys. So that comes off this. I don't want to break anything. Here we go, right here. So doo -doo -doo -doo. there's an unlock feature to take this off. And there you go. So here is your belt. Your belt, of course, is what drives the, the brush from the motor. And it is going to be protected. So you don't have to worry about your belt getting damaged. Uh, periodically, of course, you're going to make sure that you clean this as well because being that this is a pet vacuum, you're going to have a lot of hair built up around the brushes. And once the hair builds up around the brushes, you're going to lose that, that, that scraping or scrubbing power from it. So make sure you keep that clean as well. Vacuums yeah, are all... You're basically just um, brushing your carpet with dog with hair. With dog hair, <laughs> exactly. You're cleaning your carpet with that's your dog's beautiful. hair, isn't it? <laughs> oh, exactly. If you love your dog that much, go ahead. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, but of course, you know, keeping a healthy vacuum is all about maintenance. It's very, very important. So now we're going to go into... Ooh, that thing's heavy. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into our hose here, which is detachable. But, oh, look at that. That's kind of cool, too. So it's secured by this button as well. So you know it's not going to pop out on you while you're using it. Now, with the hose and any of these small attachments, you're going to get a total of about 10 feet of cleaning reach. So that's... I'm off camera now. Yeah. But look, look at that. <laughs> that's really you long. The to start I on. did. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. That's, that's long. Pretty cool. Oh, also, you also have here, um, you have your extension hose as well as your crevice. So as we're here, let me go into the tools that it comes with. So again, you have your extension hose, you have your orange yellow crevice tool as well. And where is it? So we have a rubberized pet tool pack. So we have a pet turbo tool and a pet upholstery tool. So I'm assuming this is going to be the upholstery tool right here. It comes with its own plastic uh, brush roll style. Actually, I'm sorry, it's not plastic. It's, it's hard rubber. And I'm, I'm sure that's probably what makes it a pet feature is that this rubber is going to attract the hair as you vacuum. So easily attachable. Just put it in and there you go. So this is going to be good for going over couches, chairs, uh, drapes as well. Dogs and cats love to, to brush up against drapes. So that's, the that's always the ceiling. Cats, <laughs> you know, hey, you never know. Uh, easily detachable. And this is going to be your pet turbo tool. So looks like this is going to uh, attach somewhere on here. We'll find that later. But this is removable. 
And here's another little feature as well. So if this is too big, you could always use this. I guess you could go back and forth. And because the problem with- Is that for actually vacuuming your pet? It could. I think maybe it is. You know, little story here. I actually vacuum my dog now with my, uh, my vacuum and she doesn't mind. <laughs> she doesn't mind. Don't so. vacuum your gerbil. That's one thing that no. you don't want to do. Or bunny. Actually, I vacuum my bunnies too and they like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not killing them. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, the problem with pet, with pet hair, any kind of hair, it, the fibers, the hair itself gets into the fiber of your, your couches and your upholstery and that's why it's so hard to get out. So I'm assuming uh, I'm not a professional here, but the the rubber on this, I think, is supposed to help loosen that, which gets it up. So, only an assumption, but you never know. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. Again, it comes with this neat little nifty button. So, if it doesn't pop out, then it's not secure. And there you have it. Now, this also, another little neat feature, this comes with a system check indicator. Now there's a green symbol right here in the side and it says that it's going to indicate when the rinsable filter needs to be cleaned or checked. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. So I'm assuming that rinsable filter could probably mean this HEPA filter here. No, that's not rinsable. That's, that's not. The one on top. That's true because you don't get that yeah, wet. And that's what but the filter, yeah, the filter right up here. So, and that's why the indicator is right here. Ah, good thinking, there you go, exactly. So that's a neat little feature. Obviously people don't pay attention to those things. So it's, you know, it's helping you. So there you have it. Uh, anything else we wanna go over with? Let's see here. Oh, also a neat little thing, because how this came with a detachable handle, there's a gray lever here that you can push down and the handle comes down for easy ah, storage. Very nice. So that way if you have, if you want to put it away somewhere, maybe in a closet, like a coat closet, right. you can put that down and it'll go right underneath. I like Nothing it. will stick up. That's pretty neat. Look at that. See? And uh, that's it. So there you have it. Again, it comes in at 17.8 pounds. It's a 12 amp motor. Uh, da, 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 da. And yeah, folding handle and of course the exclusive wind tunnel technology. So next up, we're going to go ahead and go into our performance review. We're going to vacuum up various materials and we're going to put this to the test and uh, see if it can really get up pet hair. All right, let's do it. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are with our performance test. Before we go into that, I just want to add a few more features here. So of course, this is a cord rewind. Um, the only problem is when you're vacuuming, the cord's gonna be down here. There is a little feature up here that you can put the cord up so it's out of the way while you're vacuuming. Also, the power button is right up here, this, this little gray button, right? Oh, sorry, you see that now? This is the power button. It took us a few minutes to find it. We were looking all the way down here, where's the power button? It's right here. So one downside is, I wish it was a different color. That'd be nice. <laughs> Now, another feature is that you actually have the ability to turn the brush roller on and off while you're vacuuming. So that gives you the versatility to go over hard surfaces as well as carpeted surface. Also, uh, whenever you're using the hose too, you can turn the brush roller off too. So we're gonna test that. So uh, right now, the height adjustment is in the middle. So we're gonna keep it right there and we're gonna test the vacuum out. We have rice, we have crushed up cereal, some pet litter, and of course, pet hair. So let's get started. Here we go. Brush roller on, and brush roller off. Ah. Pretty cool. All right. That's actually really neat. It's so fast. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. All right, so going over the rice. That's cool, okay. Pet litter, fine. One or two passes is nice. So here we go. Golden Retriever hair. Oh wow, look at that. One pass. Ooh, two to three passes, that's really good. Man. That's, a, that's maybe one of the best uh, oh my God. vacuums that we reviewed. I mean, that Seriously, was yeah. I have nothing bad to say about that. Wow. Um, except for the power button. <laughs> Other than that, this is really nice. Um, man, okay, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, short work of all that. It did, garbage. and it, it, didn't, it didn't, you know, spit anything out anywhere. One or two passes. 
Of course, it's brand new. is why it works so well, but still, this is really cool. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to another part of our performance test. We're going to test out both tools, uh, especially on the carpet with uh, some pet hair. All right. Okay. Rolling. So here we are for the second part of our performance test. We're going to put the pet attachment to the test. I mean, this is why we... This is why you're going to buy the vacuum, obviously, because it works well with pet hair. So, let's give it a go. It took a little effort, a little, um, yeah. but um, it looks better than a lot of the other things that we tried. It did, absolutely, no, no, it did, yeah. Uh, here, let's, let's try this one. not working so there's suction you hear that definitely suction so I know this is well this is an upholstery crevice tool but it didn't it didn't do anything now obviously maybe we're doing it on the wrong carpeting uh, maybe this is meant for getting to crevices behind couches or like throw pillows kind of sort but I feel that it's too opened that there isn't enough suction created and it's not going to pick anything up and the rubber is too hard it's i don't know yeah uh this worked pretty well uh but not so much with this so now we're going to move on to our punishment test but do you want to do the we'll do the hard floor yeah you know what yeah let's do the hard oh yeah we'll do the hard floor so we can show you uh how the vacuum performs with the brush roller off stay tuned okay so here you are for our hard surface portion of our performance test. So I'm not even going to bother turning the brush roller on. Obviously, we all know what's going to happen with that. I don't feel like cleaning that up later. So we're going to turn the brush roller off. Let me turn the vacuum on first. Brush roller's on. We're going to push this, turn it off. It's pretty cool. And there you have it. So again, this is on medium pile right now. Uh, looks really well. Look at that, that's, oh my gosh. Nothing's getting kicked back, okay. Yeah, so now we're gonna put it on low. Lower that all the way. Look at that. Man. All the hair gets up too, well, okay, not so much the hair, but we just change that, and there goes all the hair. That's it. There you have it. Oh, look at that. There you go. Um, I'm impressed. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so, uh, moving on. Yeah, punishment test. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 all right. Do, do, do. <laughs> Here we are for our punishment test. I always get nervous doing these because it's such a beautiful machine. You don't want to see it break. But not like this would ever be a realistic situation, but you never know. Worse things have happened. Crazier things have happened. So here we go. As we yeah. expected, uh, I don't see any cracks in the vacuum itself, but obviously loose pieces are generally always going to come loose. I'm surprised the dirt cup didn't pop out. Yeah, that that's sound... pretty secure. They usually do. They usually do. So, um, All right, okay. there you have it. All there right. you have it. Let's go to our review and, and um, you know, try to keep this under, uh, under an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you there. So here we are with our final thoughts. 
Honestly, for $99, I'm really, I mean, I'm sold. I'm sold. I really am. What do you think? Yeah, no, I, it performed better than probably any other vacuum that we've ever tested. I agree. Um, I mean, it's got a lot of parts. It has a little bit of a learning curve. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, and the, the attachments were like so-so, but the regular mm -hmm. vacuum was awesome. I agree. I agree. Yeah, the uh, the attachments. Obviously, you're buying this as a. It's being marketed as a pet vacuum. That's that's what it is. Um, so you're getting these really nifty tools. You're like, oh, this is cool. I'm gonna be able to pick up my pet's hair. And maybe we didn't have the proper carpeting. Maybe we needed some sort of like a throw pillow or cushy upholstery. This worked pretty well. I'll say. I think maybe this would still work on a a, um, a couch. I don't understand the purpose of this tool at all whatsoever. Um, didn't do anything so but yeah you know not everything's perfect but yeah we're definitely really impressed the brush roller is top-notch design maybe it was the, the uh, cyclonic design but whatever they did I mean this thing worked really really well and we've uh, we've back we've reviewed other vacuums or that were under hundred dollars maybe between like the sixty and eighty dollar range um, but if you think about it for the performance that this has for a couple more bucks it's definitely worth it. Not that we're trying to sell it, but um, I mean, trying to sell it. We're trying to sell it. <laughs> no, but this is actually I'm 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 very very impressed. I would definitely use this at my house. Uh, I definitely like all the features. Yes, there is a learning curve, a lot of features, but I think with these added features, you have more versatility. Yeah, no, our with subscribers the vacuum. are super smart. They're super they're, smart, they're right? Good. They're like, ah, oh, I don't need directions. Let me rip that up and throw it away anyways. Definitely have the cord rewind. Make sure that you do, though. If you do get a vacuum like this, you see how the hairs are already in there? You got to clean that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so here at Princeton uh, Product Review, we definitely give it two thumbs up. We would uh, we definitely highly recommend this. There you go. Three, three, four. Can't see my toes. Okay, but uh, yes, so we appreciate you watching. Now, if you do like what we do here, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and definitely feel free to leave a comment down below. We will do our best to get back to you. So again, uh, I'm Eric with Princeton Product Reviews. That's John, the cameraman in the back. And uh, thank you for watching. See ya. Bye. And here we go. So I think what we're going to do is um, I'm going to do a little cut here. I'm going to go find a screwdriver. We'll be right back. <laughs> well, way to get prepared, Eric. I know. Okay, so I think there is one over here somewhere. Yeah, how do we... First time using this too. So let's see how we're gonna remove it. Take it off. So we know how to take this thing off now. Do, 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 do. That's that. Okay, we'll just cut that oh, off. There's, there's, there's Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. That's, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna cut that. It doesn't look like this is on right. Is it? Oh, maybe that is. Okay, okay. I'll cut that. So, okay. So, all right. Let's start over again. Yeah.